Hey, what's up guys? My name is James, and I'm gonna tell you a lot of random shit that pisses me off. First thing, I hate waking up in the morning, the first thing I gotta do is my hair, and it's just, look at all this, it takes up my whole day, it takes like two hours to like do my hair, and like, no, it's freaking, it's a girl's job, but like, when you have long hair, you gotta maintain it, and it's just exhausting. Like, bitch, I can go get a Mexican to do my hair. You know, I can get some bitch named Consuela. Like, hello? No racism intended. Second thing that pisses me off. I hate walking in my room and knowing that there's like clothes and garbage and shit all over the floor. Like, I don't have time to clean this. I can go hire a Mexican. It takes up all my time to clean. I mean, look at all this stuff. It's outrageous. Look at this. Look at this. What is this? A milk carton? Why is my mattress here? It should be there. Well, who are these guys? Like, what? Does anyone want to wear for me? I got like... A whole roll of money right here like I know these are just dollars but like if you ever see a roll and it's just covered with dollars you know that there's something behind the dollars I mean what is this huh what what it's just like multiplying are you not seeing this this is not trick photography this is like legit like I'm rich people work for me I I have money on the floor now look how dirty look how dirty my floor just got you know, and you can clean that up, and you can get paid for it. Like, come on! Third thing that pisses me off, relationships. It's like if I had a girlfriend and she said, Oh, hey champs, can you go any shopping? And then I'll respond by saying, Yeah, I gotta go anyways, because I need to pick up a few things. And then she agrees, she's all like, Oh yeah, that's totally fine, let's go. And then as soon as we get to like the freaking mall or the store, or wherever we fucking go, she wants to go to her store first. And then she drags me along because you want to know why? Because she wants me to buy everything for her. Because she has no money. She just insists on me buying her stuff when I don't want to. So I buy her like at least, you know, $100 worth of stuff, whatever. And then once I go to my store, she's all like, oh, sorry, babe. I got to go. I got to do things. I'm all like, bitch, I just spent three hours in JCPenney with you. What the fuck? You can't go into GameStop for like 10 minutes so I can buy a game? See, when you argue with a chick, she's gonna respond with, bitch, don't be yelling at me. I can break up with you any day of the week. You know, I have cock lined up. I can just suck any random one. But no, I'm being loyal to you. I love you. So don't fucking yell at me. At this point, I'm like, SMH. Just SM fucking H. Word of advice? Get a girlfriend that looks like she gives a shit, but in her head she really doesn't. Just get one of those, okay? Get one of those faces like, I don't give a shit, but... <laughs> Another thing that pisses me off is when my mom complains about stupid shit. Now if you're in your late teens or your early 20s and you still live with your parents, you're still gonna hear your mom bitch about stupid shit. Oh, I tell them to wash the table. I tell them to do the dishes. I tell them to put his laundry in the laundry bag. And no, I gotta do everything. You wanna know why? Because I can complain. I pay the bills. I'm on menopause. I got my period. What the fuck? I seriously have coffee in this cup from like two weeks ago. And now it is shit iced coffee. And I just took a sip. And as you can see, on my shitty lips. Da, 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 da. See, when your mom complains, just do me a favor, let her complain. Let her say what she has to say, and if she's not on the meds, or if she doesn't have meds on her, then just let her go through it. Let her yell, let her scream, that way she'll be tired. It's like when a little baby cries, let the baby cry. It'll cry itself to sleep. When, you're, when your mom, or when your wife bitches, or when your girlfriend bitches, let them do it. They'll bitch themselves to sleep, okay? Don't fight back, because when you fight back, it goes on for longer, and you don't want to give them the satisfaction, the attention. Just let them bitch, okay? And they'll fall right asleep. They'll be like, oh, fuck you, oh, fuck you. You're, you're a piece of shit, okay? You do nothing around the house. I'm gonna... <sighs> and then you'll be like, time to masturbate. These are facts, people. Side note, this shirt is true. So, you know, shut the fuck up. Or as Jenna Marbles might say, pipe the fuck down. Another thing I hate is that I have to share a goddamn room with my two little brothers, no less. Do you know what it's like to have a little brother and he fucking annoys you? Yeah, you do deal with that. But check it out. I have twin brothers, so the annoyingness increases by two or one. I don't know math, but I need an Asian. I'll pay you. But when you have twin brothers, it's just... <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? You know what else sucks is that when you have a sister, she gets her own room, and and I'm all like, what?
Now, when you try to argue with your parents about this situation, they're all like, Listen, James, your sister needs her privacy, alright? <laughs> no! See, when your parents say privacy, that means, oh, she needs to change on her own. She can't have a little brother's looking at her. <laughs> Who gives a shit? First of all, if they look, it's on them, okay? Don't give them shit. Bitch, if you want to fucking be naked, go in the bathroom. That's why it's there, okay? Change in there, do your fucking hair, play with yourself, whatever, okay? You don't need a room to do all that shit. Your room is to fucking sleep and, you know, make a shitty video or dance or just put, you know, organize your shit in your fucking closet. And let me just tell you now that my sister has two fucking closets. Two, and I only have one. And it's like a fucking storage bin. And, and I'm all like, whoa! And she has a freaking built-in mirror in her room. You know, I want to look at myself too, you know. And she has two windows. I mean, I have two windows, but they're fucking blocked everywhere. I have one right here and one by my bed. As you can see, it's right, right there, okay? But I can't use it. Cannot use it. And she has all the light in her room. And why do I get the shitty room? I'm sorry I'm complaining, but it just fucking pisses me off. Can't wait to move out this summer. <laughs> Another thing that pisses me off is when my cats take shits in random places of my house. Especially around my shit. Now this one I'm just tired of. I'm just fucking fed up. Because whenever my cat takes a shit near my laptop, near my camera, near my tripod, just anything I really, really care about and I really use a lot, I, I'm just like, you know what? I, just, I pick up the poop, right? I just crush it in my hands, put it in a little ball. You know the little shit you used to do when you make a fucking wiener out of, you know, Play-Doh and shit? Just fucking roll that shit up and then take the cat, stuff it back in its fucking ass, okay? Or whatever hole it came out of. Just, just... Because I'm tired of seeing shit from cats and it's just, it's just dog shit to me. Well, not really dog shit, but you, you know what I mean. But it's just bullshit. Well, not, not really bullshit, but it's, it's, it's cat shit. It's cat shit that it's around my shit. It's not cool. Just, just do that, okay? Whenever you see a cat, fuck the hashtag YOLO thing at this point. It's just, it doesn't even fucking matter at this point. Just take the fucking thing, nah, wash your hands, and then that's the end of it, you know? And that'll fucking teach your cat not to shit around your shit. Because that's fucked up. Hashtag YOLO. I also hate it when I watch porno. Now, I know porno is supposed to be an enjoyable thing, you're supposed to love to watch it, but this is what I mean. Now, if you already got a full boner at this point, you, and you're like craving porno, you gotta like scroll through the categories, you click one, and then in like the first 10-15 minutes, the chick is blowing the guy, I'm like, okay, she's blowing him, that's sexy, whatever, I'm not, personally, I'm not into blowjobs, but it's there, and like, the, let's say you're watching like a five minute video and then half of which is the chick blowing the guy and then the other half is just like fucking. Now, I hate when I watch those type of videos because it, it, it never gets the job done. Can you like at least fuck for like an hour or something so I can like finish in like five minutes? Because you know, it usually takes me that long. I, I'm sorry if it's TMI, but it's the truth. I masturbate. Give me a fucking break, okay? It's 2013. But when they're fucking for like two and a half minutes and I'm just from the and you know, and then it stops. Right? And, I, and I'm getting so close, and then it just stops, and I'm all like... Come on! And then you have to rewind it, and, or just find another another video. No, I don't have time. I was just so close, and then it's worse than, like, when you have, like, no internet connection, and then the freaking porn is playing, and it just pauses. It's like, what the fuck? I was almost dead. I'm gonna drink more of this shitty coffee that's been here for like two weeks. A little tangy. Is there a cat shit in here? One moment. Okay, um, I just tried to find my cat and just tape her butthole shut. But I couldn't find her. Little bitch is hiding. So instead, I'm gonna break my LG phone right now. <laughs> Out of anger! Come on! Yes! Let that be an example, okay? When your cat shits, you end up breaking your new phone. And now you're fucked. Look at this. Look, look, look at this. I broke it. Man. There goes 80 bucks. I'm gonna kill you, cat. You fucking little shit. <laughs> Hashtag yellow. Guys. Guys. Michael. Mm. It broke in. So I think that's all for now, guys. 
Leave a comment down below. What should I rant about next? Because this was just a clusterfuck of things that were really on my mind for the last couple weeks that I really wanted to get on camera, but I didn't know how to do it. And I felt like I captured most of what I wanted to say. So thanks for watching. And um, like I said, leave a comment down below. Like this video, share it around. And um, yeah, I'm gonna go do my fucking hair right now. That's gonna take two hours. And what time is it right now? It is 8.33. I'm screwed because I'm going to take out my whole morning and then I'm going to have to do afternoon shit. <sighs> I'm fucking tired. Thanks for watching guys and I will see you whenever the fuck I feel like it because this is the fourth channel and you know, go follow me on my main channel if you can find it. I'll link it down below with my Instagram which you should follow. Penguin! <laughs> it's so cute. Hooray for penguins! So that's all for now, guys. I'm gonna go watch the Super Bowl in a little while, and just you know, I'm not gonna watch the actual Super Bowl commercial for the most part. <laughs> Only reason why I watch it. And uh, yeah, so enjoy the game and enjoy your day. And I love you all. See you later. Bye. Titties.